hello everyone so today i'm going to implement attack info ai character so this red character is the ai control character the white one is the player character so as you can see the ai npc character randomly attacks me so if i move further away from him he comes to me like this so yeah that's what i'm going to work on today let me show you again okay let's see how to do that and this episode is sponsored by this generous patron thank you very much for your support right so at the moment when i go here the ai character detects me but he's uh, not attacking me so okay uh, let's make the AI character attack us so for that let's go to the NPC character and here is the AI controller right uh, now in our NPC character Let's create a function, an event. Well, it needs to be created through the melee combat interface. So we can call it from the NPC without any issue. Let's call it uh, no, start fight. So actually uh, we could use a behavior tree and a blackboard and everything for this but uh, this AI system I'm not going to make it so complicated so let's just get away with the event right now here when start fighting is enabled I'll as an input I'll get a queue and actor no yeah actor uh, let's call it locked no not locked just enemy and no let's call this toggle fight mod okay and uh, and input we need an actor and also we need the boolean uh, start stop fight okay that would be enough now here yeah we call this toggle weapon now instead of calling toggle weapon yeah actually we need the toggle weapon too let's also call toggle fight mode let's have a branch if enemy detected is true we're gonna call this true and as the enemy i'm gonna give a reference to this act otherwise i'm gonna set this to false and as the enemy i'm not going to give any reference okay Then uh, let's implement that uh, 
super fight mod event in the NPC character blueprint now here I'll mm -hmm. promote this to a variable let's call it no maybe we don't need this let's promote this enemy to a variable as enemy right we don't need this as for the moment okay now in the event tick well oh wait we need this to promote to a variable in fight like this okay now let's have a branch if in fight is true uh, let's have a do once not because I don't need to call this again and again 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 here because I'm going to have a loop here so yeah like this mm. let's have some delay let's have a random delay float in range between two to five seconds and then let's attack see the interface call attack and then again after the attack let's have a branch in fight if it, we are still in the fight mode I'll call again this delay so wait some time again and then again attack if false that means we are not in the fight mode anymore I'll reset this Similarly, if this is false, I'll reset this. Okay. Now, let's see if it works. right okay and now the NPC is attacking and why is not attacking anymore let's go here it does call attack event but it is not attacking why is that okay let's check the So this is what happens when I attack the NPC character this montage has been interrupted so therefore this is never completed and this reset is never called so on interrupted I need to reset this too yeah now it should work 
let's see. Right, now it is working. So what's the next issue? What should we do next? Alright. So consider a situation like this. Now the NPC should come towards the player before attacks. So let's see how to fix that. okay now here we can do something like this we can check the distance from the npc character to the enemy so sure first we need uh, this valid node to make sure that the enemy character is we have a valid reference to the enemy character if yes yeah let's have another branch like this so in this branch i'm gonna get the distance to from enemy to self if the distance is less than 100 I'm gonna attack otherwise I'm not going to attack just continue let's see yeah enemy is not attacking okay let's go closer still this is false so then I guess 100 is not enough let's say 300 <coughs> okay not attacking let's go closer Right. Now he's attacking. Not attacking. Go closer again. Right. Now he's attacking. All right. So next thing I want to do is, when the player is not close enough, the enemy should come closer to the player. Right. How to do that? Um. Actually, we are not using a now mesh or any AI specific moments here because this is a side scroller. Not that uh, I'm not saying that this because this is a side scroller, we don't have to use them. Of course, you can use them, but let's go for a more simpler approach something like uh... all right, so in the tick. Um, let's have a valid node and here see if we have an enemy and let's do the same thing self uh, get the distance from animal to self if this is uh, larger than no 
if this distance is larger than 300 so branch now let's use uh, 290 because here also I'm using 300 so in a rare situation we could have a edge case Yeah, if this is true at moment input, the direction is can we get the direction? Get your direction vector from self. from self to enemy like this okay now let's check oh <coughs> he did come too fast So maybe let's slow him down. Right point two. Let's move this further here. Right. Let's move away. Now he's coming to us. Cool. Okay, so that's what I wanted. All right. Now we have a attacking enemy uh, AI character and PC character. So the next thing I want to try is implementing a blocking mechanism. Well, actually, uh, even at the moment, we also have, we already have the shield. But just because we have a shield, that doesn't mean it should automatically block all the attacks. We should have something like when I right click, the character should show some blocking stars. Uh, different from the idle star so then the shot should be deflected so i want to try something like that in the next episode and yeah so let's see how to do that and in the next episode and thanks for watching so if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patron club link would be in the description below and see you in another episode goodbye